What's going on guys, this is Joey. I'm coming at you another video for the week. So this week I want to give you guys an update on what I'm planning to do with my uh, discus pair. So as you know, I have a discus pair that has been breeding for a while, but um, they've been eating their eggs pretty much every hatch or every time they spawn. I've had wigglers once with them and then maybe like within a couple of days they would eat them. Either the parents are super super inexperienced or they think it's just some sort of food. So what I want to try to do um, is to try to get a new pair to form uh, to try this breeding project again. By forming a new pair we might have a little bit more success. So finally the quarantine process is pretty much done. I basically have a couple more days here before this male what I think is a male, uh, it's ready to kind of just acclimate or go with any other tank. And in a couple of days here, I'm going to actually introduce the other discus into this tank, throw in a cone, and see if, you know, we get some success with breeding. So this discus is a blue-faced heckle. Um, it's really uh, similar to the other little uh, blue-faced heckles that I've gotten. Uh, the only difference here is this is actually a full-grown adult. This is actually a huge, huge, huge adult. Probably one of the bigger discus I've actually seen. Now, if you actually follow my channel for a while, you know that I've been really fascinated with uh, heckles and the mid bar. My favorite discus is a red discus, and that's why I have red cover discus. And I really like the heckle mid bar. So, like maybe a year ago, uh, they came out with a cross, pretty much like an Inca heckle cross uh, discus, which pretty much is a red discus with a mid center bar um, from a heckle, and it's really super pronounced. Um, this specific discus here in this tank has a really nice mid bar and I'm going to try to breed that trait um, into the fry. So what I want to try to do is grab one of my red discus, put it in this tank with this heckle here and I believe this is a male so I'm going to put the female in. And if it's, you know, a female, then I'm going to swap with the male because, I again, I have a male and a female. So I wasn't really too worried about what sex this specific heckle was um, because I could just enter swap on the fly. So I'm really excited to see if, you know, we get some successful breeding, especially with a wild-caught discus and a tank-raised discus. So that should be really exciting if we get some success. Uh, this discus specifically is already eating flakes. I've trained the discus to eat flakes. If you guys haven't seen my training video in terms of how to feed flakes check it out it's specifically on discus and it's pretty much um, I guess a starving method uh, but even then I do feed you know other stuff just to try to get it to eat first before I actually use a flake training method and I might make another video down the road uh, about wild caught discus I want to get a little bit more experience with these guys just to see if there's any difference between wild caught and tank raised discus um, so far, uh, they're pretty much, you know, what I expect them in terms of discus. There's definitely a lot of myths uh, that are broken that, you know, I've heard through forums and whatnot. And um, I'll probably share that info or the share that knowledge in another video down the road. So I we'll have to keep this video kind of short. I've been really busy with just trying to prep the house uh, for a housewarming party this weekend. I've been actually cleaning a lot of the tank and just kind of scraping the uh, tanks, sidewalls and whatnot, just to kind of present it a little bit better just because we're going to have guests over. Some of them aren't hobbyists, so they'll be like, oh, you know, what is this stuff on the wall? It kind of looks nasty. It's just algae. Uh, for me, I don't really care that much, uh, but I want to kind of make it a little bit more presentable so that when we have guests over, they see it. And hopefully they might get inspired and maybe possibly get into the hobby. Just FYI, next weekend I'm going to be really busy with the housewarming party and having families and friends over. So I might have to end up skipping um, a video. If I do get some time, I might shoot a video earlier and then kind of you know schedule it uh, for the weekend for you guys to take a look at. But I can't promise anything right now, but I'm going to try. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. Happy Father's Day for all you fathers out there. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe. And like always, until next time guys, peace.